hello there so today I'm gonna to show you how to um, customize your tab bar so you know how you always get the basic tab bar which you get right, right out of the box from Apple that has a selected image so basically you have like a glossy black and then gray selected images um, so what we want to do is um, we want to improve that and actually get let me show you what we're gonna end up with at the end of this video so basically if I run that again so at the end of this video, what we want to achieve is the graphite feel, the graphite look and feel for this tab bar, and then each of these elements are going to be selected, and then they will look like they are depressed. So let's get into the video, and then I'll show you how this is done. All right. So let me. So basically, um, let me just comment out all of this before we start. So. Okay. So we are going to make use of the appearance SDK to customize the tab bar, right? So. So the first stop is to get our appearance SDK from our tab bar. So basically, if you have this method called appearance on every tab bar, so this is gonna, this is going to actually customize all tab bars in our application. We have only one, so that works out fine. And then we, on that appearance, on that appearance um, method, we need to pull out the background image. So we set the background image to tab bar background. And then, um, so basically, the tab bar background is gonna be this image here this is what we have for the tab bar background so we have already the image broken down into four sections and then we have the graphite with a kind of a noise background so that's the image we're going to use for the background and then we also need to set the selection indicator so that's what's going to show up when we actually select the tab bar so let me open that up so that's this so this is um kind of a gradient it's, it's, it's a transparent gradient that which will be hovering over the image all right so to do that we're gonna have to set that so the appearance image so set background image and set selection indicator image so if we run that you now see that we have our backgrounds working so the next step is to set our icon because right now I, Apple just gives you like a gray icon and then using the alpha channel it just um, puts a gloss up, um, over the icon so what we want to do is we want to use this new icon that we have here set up so what we have here is that we have like a, a movie icon right with our gloss already applied to it and also this is going to be our unselected icon that also has a gloss applied like a gloss effect applied to it so the methods that we're going to have to use to implement are the set finished selected image so let, let me just show you how that works right so basically let, let's let's just do one for now right so I'm gonna pull out uh, my UI image which is gonna be for the selected view and then this is gonna be movie unselected right and then this is gonna have a UI image view image named it's called tab bar movie.png right and then um, we can copy and paste that and then do something similar for the selected one so if you have the movie selected we'll have tab bar movie selected so these are these two images which I just which I just showed you right now so that's tab bar movie and tab bar movie selected so how do we make sure this shows up in our tab bar so now we need to pull out our items so if you have a this is our tab bar controller here right so we're gonna have a tab bar controller and then we you pull out the tab bar from that it has a tab bar UI tab bar and then we pull out the items in that collection right so that is an array so let's assign that to an array okay so let's say we wanted to set the first item right so we say item and then we say object at index zero, right? So this is this is probably definitely gonna give us a UI tab bar item. Okay, so we have, that should be items. So this is gonna be our first item, and then what we now do is now can now say item set finish to like the image. So this is going to be our selected image so we have movie selected and then unselected image we have movie unselected in there so that's actually all we need to do 
at least for the first icon so if you run if you run that you see that we already have a nice selected image for our movie icon and then when we hover I mean, when we go away from that we actually have a nice gray gloss effect as well which we already had before and if you can see that's definitely better than what we had have down here okay so um the next step is to do that for all four so i already have something set up in here so what we have is like an array so we have two arrays here so this array has all the the names for all the unselected images so one two three four tab a home tab a movie tab a star and tab a v card and then we are we have the same thing for the selected images as well so we have those two arrays and then we can now loop over all items that we have in the tab bar and then basically do the same thing that we did before and that's a set finished image and then with finished unselected image all right and then i think that's that's it for and then if you run that now we're gonna have what we had at the end so that's what we have here so we have a nice custom looking tab bar so thank you for watching this video i hope you now know how to set like a custom tab bar when you have the images um in the next video in this series i'm gonna actually show you how to create this round progress bar that looks cool doesn't it okay so watch out for the next image that should be released in a few days thank you very much